Hello, welcome back to some more Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction. My name is Sin K, you can call me Sin for short. And before we begin, please like and subscribe, share this around anywhere, please clip it, anything you'd like. Let's try to get more people to join me on this journey of the Ratchet and Clank series. Also, don't forget to check out Discord. We I'm trying to build that small little community and I, I'm not going to try to reply very much on the community tab for YouTube. As I notice, it's cluttering everything, and so I'd like to clutter Discord a bit, you know. Plus, I'd give a plus. It would give you guys a chance to come play with me, or come play games, or come check out the live streams and stuff. I'll tell you guys when I'm live, and I'll chat in there. There's gonna be chats and stuff, you know. Uh, you can discuss Ratchet and Clank there together, you know. Anything you guys want. That's the Discord is where it's at. <laughs> Anyways, to give a brief recap of what happened, we just finished uh, crash landing on Alombek's ruins. We got there and fixed the ship, and Ratchet had, or not Ratchet, Clank had visions and got visited by strange aliens. And now we're here because uh, we got a, we received a hollow vid from Qu Captain Quark, and that is where we're at. We're now at this place for our battle dome on arena so without further ado let's just jump right in it sorry for the long intro just had to throw that all out there all that info at you all right let's go let's fucking go imperial fight festival uh. oh look at that a distinguished gentleman Pardon me, sir. oh shit Would you get some authentic armor? oh we get armor bees oh it looks sick Fit. What is that? Can I collect that? There's something up there. Oh, I don't know what I collected, but cool. Oh, look, there's another one over here. There's two out of six. Ah. Oh, look, there's another one over here. Three out of six. I have no idea where to go. Maybe this way? I think. Whoa, that little devious. Oh, it still hit me? Is this where we're supposed to go? Oh, looks like... Looks like I can't go in there yet. Oh, I need six Imperial statues. Okay, we'll go this way. I have four out of six statues. Parkour! Ooh, fuck. Look at that big guy. But he gonna die today. Yes! Is level 10 the highest upgrade? Level 10 has to be the highest, right? And we wait. There we go. Oh, the grenade's not working. Oh, never mind. Come on, let me up. There we go. I don't know where to go. Oh, parkour! 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 Hey, we made it up here. Oh, what does that do? Oh, shit. Is he stuck in there? I think he's stuck in there. Oh, yeah, he was stuck in there. Anybody in here? No. A jump pad! I did not see you there, what the fuck? Alright, there we go. Look at that, I found these chests. Was that like a secret or something? Well, I don't see no statue up here. Maybe it's over here, down here. Tesla drones! Elon Musk is in here? You can't destroy me! I'm the protagonist and I have blood armor. Psst. 
Oh shit. I can't aim very well, hold on. Am I hitting him? I don't even think I'm hitting him. Oh, there we go. Oh, I can't break that. No. Screw take and stare. What? I ain't gonna lie, these big guys are kind of giving me like Alice in Wonderland type of vibe. The guys with the big hands or whatever. Oh shit! Oh fuck. Blow him up! Blow him up! Yes! One in doubt, blow everything up! Oh shit. Don't scare me like that, come on now. I'm not gonna do that. The native is already scared of everything. <laughs> For real though, we're scared of a lot. Oh! No! No, please! Please! Upgrade! Control- What the fuck? Congratulations! You have upgraded to the Magma Combustor. Your weapon has been modified with three additional plasma barrels to cover more ground. That's so cool. Bro, I wasn't expecting that big of an upgrade. Die by my new awesome fucking weapon! Ah! Alright. <laughs> you mean flaming statues? No! Please! No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, I don't trust it, but let's go. Also, it was, oh, shit. What the fuck? Uh, why am I wearing glasses? Join me in welcoming our guest of honor, your Kragmite overlord and my new best friend, Emperor Tachyon. <laughs> <laughs> Let the battle begin! For our first challenge, our furry fighter will have to battle his way through three rounds of degenerate homicidal oh, shit. machines. Are you ready? Then let's start the carnage. For some reason, I have a fucking mustache and stuff on. Huh? Mustachio. Mustachio fear. Oh, so. Huh? Okay, I guess that's my name. Ah, oh, what the hell? Whoa, a lucky shot from Mustachio. Let's see what he does next. A lucky shot from Mustachio. Is this all disguise so the Emperor wouldn't kill me? Is that it? Whoa. No way, what the fuck is happening? Okay, there we go. This match has been brought to you by Quarktastic Chewable Vitamins. Get healthy by eating me once a day. By beating me once a day. By beating me by eating me once a day. Oh shit. One end out, grenade it out. We have a new champion. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hell yeah, I didn't. Okay, troopers. What the fuck? Is that a boss? Giant 
What the fuck? I would just like to take a moment to admire our challenger's mustache. I've never seen anything like it. I especially never saw anything like it. I wore it to the Kurwan Halloween Gala last year. Come on, oh my lord. Holy shit, it's almost dead. Oh my god, thank god. Oh, fuck. That wasn't so hard. They did one playthrough. You remind me of me when I was a young fighter. Only shorter and less strapping. Quark, do you mind telling us what you're doing working for Tachyon? Oh, just a little thing I like to call saving the universe. The mirrors is voice different. There I was, surrounded by Tachyon's minions, perched <laughs> on the brink of certain death, staring into the icy precipice of the inevitable. I knew I had to take action. I engaged my foes, channeling days of kung fu classes, and dispatching my crouching kitten style with lethal precision. But alas, these rock-hard pecs and unbridled machismo can only hold out for so long. After destroying two thousand of them, my lucky shot rendered me unconscious. For the safety of the good citizens of Kerwan, I swore allegiance to Tachyon's army and became his confidant. Which means you used your powers as a world-class suck-up to save your own hide. Oh, little column A, <laughs> little column B. Here, take this. It'll explain everything. Well, the optical relay is damaged, but maybe you can find a ship to play it on. Great. Quit messing around and get over here. Oh, I have shit. Oils that require lancing. Coming, Your Excellence. Pray for me. Oh, my God. Oh, all right. We'll do this. I only have two minutes. All right, that's all the time I need. Bruh. Come on! Oh fuck. How much time left? A minute, a minute and twenty, a minute and fifteen! Woo! Reminds me of my signature move, the silent possum. It primarily involves curling into a fetal position and mentally projecting myself into what I call a happy place. A happy place. Is like Quark's voice actor different this time, or is it just the more clear, more clear, or more HD version of him? Nice. Shall we do one more? I think we'll do one more. Yeah, one more will do it. I'm told these Chericlons hail from the war-torn razor mines of Planet Glitznack. Lovely planet. If you're lucky to get shipped in this member. Wasn't so bad. Cool guys don't look at explosions. What the? Like a ten thousand volt bunch. Probably why they were recalled from Grumble Net toy stores around. Oh no! I got hit. I taught him that move. Only it's twice as deadly the way I do it. I taught him that move. I got hit. 
Come on. Bro. Dude, I better not die. I better not freaking die. I did it! Hell yeah, fuck everyone who doubted me. I just realized I don't have to do that. We'll do one more. Let's see how our challenger does with only one weapon. My most dangerous weapon. He just can't seem to land a hit, folks. This guy must be more irritated than a one-legged droid in a butt-kicking contest. I'm telling you, man, this weapon's dangerous in the right hands. Whoa, a lucky shot from Mustachio. Let's see what he does next. See? I'm a badass with this. Alright, I think this we're done with that. Opened using your newly acquired helipods. Simply fire a helipod at the loop target to try it out. Oh. Oh. What? I was supposed to be on top. My bad. There we go. Completing arena challenges is an effective way to win bolts and prizes. Returning gladiators are always welcome. Okay, wait. Before we leave, I want to check out what those statues are for. What is that statue? Is that all of them? Or is there more? Alright, it looks like that's it for now until I get a hacking device. Let's check out this hollow vid. Alright, let's find out what Tachyon's up to. Ooh, backstory! Greetings, inferior beings of Polaris. Does your life lack a sense of purpose? Do you constantly worry about finding steady income? Do you like killing stuff? Then join the Imperial Army and aid me in my humble quest for galactic domination. Here you'll travel to new places, meet interesting people, and execute them in the name of me. How the phone did you just say I could meet interesting what? people? Why, yes, I did, celebrity hero Captain Quark. That sounds <laughs> terrific. Tell me more. It's simple. Somewhere in this galaxy is the filthy Lombax secret responsible for the Kragmite defeat. As an official Tachyon trooper, your job will be to ravage every planet until it is found. Leave no stone unturned, no rebel spared. Exterminate anyone who stands in your way! All for a tidy salary and competitive benefits package. Wow, all that and travel too? Indeed. Take the nice. Nubak asteroid ring, for example. Our spies have learned that the secret may be hidden here on this remote moon base. If you sign up by tonight, you can join in on the raid. Emperor Tachyon is an equal opportunity oppressor. Hmm. Do you think this Lombax secret could be the weapon used to vaporize the Kragmites? Whatever it is, we need to get to it before Tachyon does. Hell yeah, we do. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh shit. Whoa. This must be the transport to the station, but how do we get the launch code? We ought to warn you that the owner of that there station ain't accustomed to visitors. And why should we trust you? You ejected us into space. Apologies, my friend. I'll tell you what, allow us to make it up to you. I don't trust Some them. space pirates from Ardolis have offered us bolts for Leviathan souls. Why, if you were to go and fetch some for us, we would happily give you the launch code. Fuck! Lombax has a death wish! Fuck! So what if I do? I mean, so what if he does? <laughs> so let me guess. 
Those Leviathans are back there, right? Let's see what's up here first. I like to check everything until I can't check them no more. Come on. Just die peacefully. Alright, I need you for a sec. Oh, he's not going peacefully. Oh, there we go. Give me your soul. Alright, that's one. Is it just one I need? Oh, it just is not what I need. All right. Cool. Yo, what? That's cool. <laughs> Teleporter cannons always make my sprockets tingle. I love you, Clank. Oh, shit. Moving on up, hey, hey, moving on up, L O. Let's see what we got here. Maybe this one will be a bit easier. Come on, hit me. Oh shit, you got a little too close there. There we go. Get me a soul. We have all the souls we need, Ratchet. We should get back to the smuggler. We do, that's it. What about that? Oh, this is for a gold bolt. Cool, I didn't even see it, to be honest. Alright, let's head back. I kind of want to see what's over Let's see what's over there first. I want to go over there. <gasps> Near me over there. Wow, there's more over here. So I'm gonna explore before we go back. That was fun. Can we do it again? Don't worry, Clank, we'll do it again. And up we go! Yippee! Oh shit, he's right there. Not give him a chance. Yo, he's so fast. There we go. Give me your soul. Nom 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 nom. All right, let's go this way. You guys can skip ahead if you don't like the this explore exploration part. Sorry, I cannot help it. I forgot to fill us up. Okay, now we can go over here, right? Bang, bang, boom. You know what the green, like, gelatin reminds me of? Oh! I did not. It reminds me of, like, Flubber. I don't know if you guys ever know about that movie. Or if anybody watched it. I really love that movie. It's, it has Robin Williams in it. May he rest in peace, but still. That movie. Oh, I just love that movie. If you haven't watched Flubber, I recommend you watch it. Oh 
shit. To access your map, press the select button. Hello, bro. My mute was mited. My bad. Mited, muted. Fuck. I had to mute my mic for a second. I forgot to unmute it. I was saying <laughs> that. <laughs> That I wanted to make it that way, but Can didn't. Do it again? I, don't, I, I don't know how long I was needed for. Sorry about that. It's no surprise, but I live with my parents still. Like I did live alone during COVID and before then, but under the circumstances of uh, COVID and like rising inflation of prices of everything, it was no longer like. I'm no longer able to live on my own. Like I, whatever income I try to do, it just isn't enough for me right now. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. I don't want to get political for everything, or like not political, but like too real with you guys. Because you, guys, I'm sure you guys understand that the economy is fucked for like almost everybody, especially for like America and Canada. But I live with my parents. Hopefully that doesn't, you know change your opinion on me don't worry i still pay rent and everything it's just harder for me to do things now but that's why i'm like using youtube as my hobby because i started to find out that i was getting bored of video games and quickly growing stale of it you know what i mean like i'm just i'm starting to get sick of multiplayer games but also i really love older games Give me your soul. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share all my first time experiences. I know I keep saying that. <laughs> nice. I don't know what I fucking grabbed. What does this you do? You discovered another piece of the Gadgetron Hollow Plan. Oh. What does that do? Oh, this throws me back over here. Anyway, yeah, it's just a little snippet about me. Do these things respawn, by the way? Have we been here already? Am I just going in a circle? Oh shit, come on. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go back to that thing now. <laughs> I, I feel like we're going in a circle. Whoa, fuck! No! <gasps> oh, I was not ready for that. All right, that's enough of that. That's enough. I think we're gonna go back to to the pirate. All right, Mr. Pirate, give me the launch code. Well, thank you kindly, friend. Transport vessels primed and ready. You all take care now. Trade. Oh, oh, that I got 4,000 bolts for that. With you. What the fuck? Oh my god. What are you trying to pull? Oh, they're 4,000 bolts each. Okay.
Oh. I was wondering how we get down here. No fucking shot. It's gonna be one of these levels. Bruh. The transport has taken us to the primary maintenance grid. Perhaps we can find a way inside from here. No shit, Clank. No shit. Oh, we gotta be quick. We gotta be quick with it. Also, like, I haven't played Mario, like Super Mario 64 or anything like that. I haven't even played Mario Odyssey. I have them. Like, I have all these games. I just never had time to play them or I never found motivation to play them. You know what I mean? Because, you know, with like Apex, Fortnite and all that, you have to do battle passes and shit. And those take a lot of time to do. Curious. That generator must be powering a Sigma-3 gravity simulator with protomorphic ionization synthesizers. What? what? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, we have to, like, catch it. Jeez. At least, like, we don't go all the way back, you know what I mean? I just can't believe I did that, alright? Alright, what do we have here? Oh my god. Also I have like I have like these 3DS games and I just found out how to dump them onto uh, a 3DS emulator for this for PC. I just found out how to do it. So you guys are going to see like 3DS games that I've bought personally. I have a whole collection of them. I just haven't touched my 3DS because it's broken like what i mean by broken is like the a button doesn't work and the rb button doesn't work uh, i've had my 3ds since i bought it which was like in 2014 it's a purple one i believe purple galaxy one and whenever that first came out i bought it right away cost me an arm and a leg but my 3ds sadly like broke over years ratchet i believe that was the playing. maintenance elevator up ahead that could be our point of entry. But yeah, I'm going to be doing some 3DS content. Some games that I haven't played or finished, you know what I mean? So like Pokemon X and Y, I haven't finished, I believe. My 3DS broke because I was playing Mario Kart 7 a lot. That's how come the RB is broken and the A is broken. Because I, I push those buttons a lot. And so I have to find a way to... Um, to fix the 3DS, if, if I can find a place somewhere where I live. But you guys are probably going to see that in the future. I just found out how to dump them. I dumped a few games, which took me like a good weekend. I've been doing it on weekends, and that, that takes me a long fucking time to do. My, my cousin shows me all these emulator stuff and how to do it. He has to walk me through in a Discord call or show me on uh, a video of what he's doing and how he did it. So that's how I'm able to play these games is through him. And he's older than me. He's like in his 30s. And he's my older cousin. He's the one that got me into like Nintendo, Zelda. Yeah, hell, he's the one responsible for getting me into video games in the first place because if I didn't watch him, I wouldn't be playing games now. But he grew up a PlayStation Nintendo kid. I grew up a Nintendo Xbox kid. But he got onto PC a lot sooner, I think back in 2012, I believe, is when he got his first PC, and he's never moved since. But yeah, so you guys are going to see 3DS content in the future for games, and some GameCube stuff, and yeah, just a lot of other stuff that I have planned after the Ratchet & Clank series, which is going to be a while. So, uh, I'll have you, I'll probably make a poll about to start afterwards in the future. Probably make a poll right now as we're recording. The Lombax secret is ours. Let's grab it and get out of here before Tachyon sends his armies in. All right. I'm scared. Whoa, check out that terrarium. It seems whoever constructed this station wanted an oasis as well as a fortress. Attention, intruder! This is Lieutenant Commander Zephyr of the Apogee Space Station. Lay down your weapons and prepare Whooping. Prepare for a whooping. I'll just go find it. Oh shit. Oh, they're very. I should. Oh, never mind. 
I was gonna say they're very durable, but they died easily. Lay down your weapon so you may receive the aforementioned whooping. Hmm. <laughs> whooping. That wasn't bad. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Intruder! Am I doing it right? Stay in character, you darn fool! Alright. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Intruder alert. <laughs> Alright. Nice! Is it max? Is, is level 5 the max upgrade? You have upgraded to the Lightning Ravager. Your weapon has been modified to disperse a small but powerful shockwave with each attack. Oh shit. This is Chief Admiral Crook. We are activating the thermo splitter defenses. Desist all youthful activities I wasn't... and return from whence you came. Why does he sound familiar? He sounds so familiar. I can't put my nose on it. I'm right. Yeah, I can't put my thumb on it. Who does he sound like? I have no idea who this guy sounds like. He's breaking into the aqueduct. Release the hydromine defenses. Of course they're land mimes, bro. Go, 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 go. It's following me. <laughs> Get off my lawn. Okay. He's probably up up on that rap music. Wasn't so bad. Oh shit. Oh, I got hit. Alrighty then. This whippersnapper doesn't want to listen. He just won't heed our warning. <laughs> heed, young whippersnapper. Heed. Heed, whippersnapper. Heed. Oh, I may die. No, I destroyed it though. Fuck. All right, I have a different weapon this time. No. I'm gonna try grenades, but it looks like grenades isn't working. Oh, maybe the shard's working. The shard's working. Holy shit, the shard worked. Nice. Perhaps we should reason with them. Sure. They promise to give me the Lombax secret? I promise not to blow them up. Okay. I mean, that sounds reasonable to me. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't uh, stand so close to doors, you know? <laughs> Laser boots. I know. They never learn. Chef, we need those turrets back online! Rerouting primary capacitors. Oh, okay. Oh, come on, dude. There we go. 
part one more. Oh. Oh, thank God. An upgrade. Is that all of them? Please. There we go. We've lost our primary field generator. We're sitting ducks. Oh my god. Oh, that takes care of all the turrets. All right, let's see who's no fucking we trying to kill us. At least two crates of parasitic nitro cells. <gasps> His space buddies. No way. Your geo laser comes equipped with a directional indicator to locate weak walls. Simply follow the signal to locate areas where this handy device will work. You can use your new geo laser to cut through net. No way. That is cool. Who did you say gave you this thing? The Sony. They are little invisible creatures who travel through time. Oh, what? Right. There's the scoundrel. Pulverize him. <laughs> They're robots. Oh, oh really old robots. Thanks, guys. I can handle it from here. Well, congratulations. Whoa. You win an all-expense-paid trip out the airlock. Hope you don't mind letting yourself out. I hate that popping sound of bodies decompressing in space. <laughs> Put that lock back in his place. What? <gasps> he is a lombax. Kronk, Zephyr, lower your weapons. And so, our heroes explain the mysterious circumstances which brought them to Talwan Apogee's secluded space station. Their quest for the elusive Lombax secret. A cipher wrapped in an enigma, smothered in super secret sauce. Oh, that's enough, Zephyr. <laughs> oh, um, sorry. So you're a Lombax who's never seen another Lombax, doesn't know where they are or what their secret is. That's so... Ironic? I take it he's the smart one. Miss Apogee, is there any reason why Tachyon would think you have a Lombax weapon? Well, this is my father's base. Max Apogee? Uh -oh. Max Apogee was a famous... Is a famous... Uh, uh, is a famous explorer and collector of rare interstellar antiquities. Most notable of which was a Lombax artifact. Where is the artifact now? Pirates raided the station years ago. This is the only thing they took. My father went after them, but never came back. Oh. I recall that smuggler mentioning pirates on Ardolis. Ardolis? Kronk, Zephyr, get the ship ready. Lock up on your way out, okay? Lock up? Where did they go? Ratchet, I'm sending you the coordinates to Ardolis. Sorry if I seemed rude back at the station. I haven't gotten out much since my father vanished. 
I'll see you soon. Coordinates acquired for planet Ardolis. Alright, I'm sorry about this folks, but this is where I'm gonna leave this episode off. For tomorrow, we're gonna tackle this planet and figure out where her father went, I believe. I think that's the whole premise, right? And also find the Lompax weapon. And that'll be all for Ratchet and Clank today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, tell me what your guys' favorite, you know, tell me what your guys' favorite part about this episode. Also, sorry for getting too little too personal. I just, when I talk, my mouth just goes, you know what I mean? So sorry about that. Overall, the music for this game isn't as good as Deadlock or the other previous entries. Like, I don't know, the mood for this, is, is it the same person, the same composer? Like, I'm, I'm not sure. There are sometimes the music doesn't match the level for me, if, if that makes sense to you. Like, I don't know, it just, I get a different vibe from the music compared to the level. Overall, I love the gameplay. I love how fluid everything is. I just, it, oh, it's like deadlock mixed with everything all together. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just love it. And it's not as snappy and it's not hard to move my reticle around and everything. Anyways, I won't keep you guys any longer. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another Ration and Clank Tools of Destruction episode. And without further ado, bye! Smell you later! Drink tons of fucking water! Have a bucket full! Bye-bye! Bye-bye!